So you explained that you moved with your husband to Canada. How did you tell your parents that you were moving to Toronto? Well, it was very difficult because, as you can imagine, um, Toronto is quite a long way away. And I just found out that I was expecting my first baby. And the combination of the two things was awful to my mother. Not that I was having a baby, she was delighted with that news. But then when I said in the next breath, but we're going to Toronto next week or whatever it was, you know, she was horrified. And I remember saying to her very clearly, they have babies in Toronto as well, I'm sure. She said, not the point. This baby was a different one. <laughs> but uh, we survived the experience and my mother recovered. <laughs> so I remember you describing the house you lived in, mm -hmm. where it was all wrapped in plastic. Mm -hmm. The lady who owned it uh, was an interior designer, so she was very much into furnishings and whatever. And so it was a lovely place to live. We enjoyed it. At the time that we went, we had a flat that was not special, you know, in England. It was just a sort of one or two bedroom thing, but not very interesting. So this was really quite a, a world apart from what we'd been used to. So I, eventually, it, it was home. What was it like being, obviously, a new mother um, in a new country, mostly by yourself, probably? Indeed, it's interesting you say by yourself, because we never felt on our own. What happened was that the, the English community supported each other you know what I mean? So that um, we got to know English people who'd moved to Canada just before us. And so anything that happened or we wanted to know, we got instant people that could, would help and would explain to us. We were there for what, three years or something like that. And um, I, did, I did enjoy it. It was a nice place to be. Of course, we'd made friends and everything. But on the other hand, we were ready to go home. You know, we, we'd done that bit of our, our thing. My husband had wanted something to put on his CV that he'd actually done something more than just sitting in a desk in, in England, you know. And uh, so that worked out well for him as well. So that was, that was good, yeah. So what made you decide to teach Latin then when you came back? Well, I, I just, I'd enjoyed it all the way through. Latin had, had, um, interested me and um, it was just something that I, I enjoyed as a, as a language. What would you say was your fondest memory of Claverham when you were there? My fondest memory of Claverham? I have so many. I, I used to like the, the um, events at the end of, of December when Christmas was coming and so on. It was always fun. What would your advice to me as a student be? Well, I, I would say that you must concentrate on the whatever is in hand at that particular time to listen carefully and not to assume that anything is, is frivolous or whatever but make sure you're you're learning everything that you need to do as you go along. Do you think in the uh, present day would you still want to teach? Certainly. Teaching young people is, is um, a privilege in a sense to, to have the at the meetings with them to try to understand how they think today and so on. And uh, I, I would still, I would still like to teach if, if I was that young. Mm.